Good morning, campers, and welcome aboard the Starship Nightwish. My name is Commander Exorcist, and welcome to part two of my geological history series in Elite Dangerous. Today, we are back in Elite Dangerous Horizons. In my previous video, I showed you how, in the earlier versions of Horizons, uh, explorers searched for geological activity on planet surfaces. There was no full spectrum scanner or deep or detailed surface scanner to really make things easy. It was an old school geology hunt. Well today is, I guess you could call it a middle school or prep school kind of uh, search. This is the mid-tier. And so we're going to talk about what happened after the Beyond Chapter 4 update in today's video. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the system map. So when you fly into a star system, uh, if you're in deep space and it's not been explored, um, if you look down at the very bottom of the screen, um, all the little planets inside of the radar system, those, when they appear in that location, that means that they've been scanned and or that your sensors have detected their existence. And so um, I can say with certainty that if they show up in the radar uh, in the center of the uh, screen, um, that the sensors have touched them and uh, they've been cataloged and you've probably got some kind of discovery credit for it. Maybe not first discovery if it was seen before, but you at least got some kind of credit for um, scanning the system in that way. Now the system map, um, and we are in, for this particular demo, I'm in uh, Thalea Lox D277, um, about midway between the bubble and the core at this point. If you take a look at the map, uh, you'll see that all the planets are visible. Now, in order to do this in after uh, Beyond Chapter 4, you have to scan each one of these planets. And so to do that, you know, you use your full spectrum scanner and you go and you and you scan each individual planet and you check and see what kind of uh, resources it has and all the different features. This was not um, an option uh, prior to this update. So when you log, when you flew into a system, the map was already available. You could see the map. Um, it wasn't hidden. And so you could kind of get an overview already. Now, you didn't get scan credit for these planets. No, not by a long shot. But when you look at it, you say, okay, you know what? There's a, there's a little moon here. There's a little planet here. There's a water world. There's a moon. And so I could look and see, this is a, it's an okay system. It's got a water world, so definitely would check that out. For the most part, I'd probably ignore the rest of it, um, unless I was really looking for something uh, I needed, like really, I was really hurting for geology locations. But, um, but yeah, so, but once <laughs> Beyond Chapter 4 showed up, the, uh, yeah, you couldn't see any of this stuff. So you zoom in and all you saw was the star, just the star. And you had to scan each individual location in order to get it to show up. Obviously, we if you played Horizons at this point, you know this is just kind of backtracking, um, giving a comparison between the two. Um, and so, when you scan, you would scan down. And at this point, here's the planet's rocky body. Um, and as I said in my previous video, when we did the old school stuff, uh, you really wanted to keep your planet as small as possible. So, you know, anything around uh, 600 to 700 kilometers was, was pretty average. And that was, that was a good, it gave you a good opportunity to find some stuff. You really wouldn't spend too much time cruising over the surface um, with those particular size bodies. Um, with this particular, with this update, it gave us the ability to scan these planets. And so you can see there are 18 geological locations on this moon. It's, a, it's about an 800 kilometer moon. Um, which is decent, and then I think this one is probably, so this one's a little bit smaller, it's 600. So for today, um, we're going to set course for this little moon, and we're going to explore. I'm going to show you how um, that whole process was done. Now, one of the benefits to the new system was is the ability and you're gonna see it obviously when we scan 
If you're an explorer, you've seen this stuff. This is baby stuff. It's stuff you probably do all the time. Um, but for those people that are not explorers, or if um, it's down the road and you're watching this in the future, this is how it used to be done prior to um, the Odyssey merge. And so, uh, you know, I could spend time flying over this world and flying over and try to find something. Well, now, when we scan it, we're going to know there's geology here, there's geology here, there's geology here, and wherever. So, and which is cool because it kind of gives us an opportunity to pick, like if, especially for me, if I'm taking photography, you know, where do I want to, um, where do I want to set up? Where do I want to land? Um, where do I want to kind of orient myself so that I can get kind of the best shot? Especially if this place has like a really um, nice sun, <laughs> a nice setup. Uh, yeah, we can definitely, this is definitely a good opportunity here. Um, I thought about cutting out the video a little bit for this, but this is really just how it's done. We get into the system, we scan, we travel. It's not too far, we get about 20 seconds and then we will be reaching um, our destination. Now for me, you can laugh or whatever, but Super Cruise Assist is an explorer's absolute best friend. Um, and photography. If you're looking to do orbital photography, you cannot beat uh, using the Super Cruise Assist. And these two particular planets, I believe these moons are really close. Um, which probably explains why both of them um, have geological activity, especially 18 locations. Um, that's pretty significant. And, and that's, you know, that really comes down to the science of it. And that's one of the things I love about Elite and how they, um, you know, the galaxy is populated by planets that are um, uh, built around scientific principles. And so, um, you know, the gravity wells and all that around these worlds. Whoa, no, there it is. Oh, I messed this one up. Oh my goodness, you guys are going to see the loop of shame. I thought it was behind the world. But the fact that it's so close to its um, host world is one of the reasons that uh, it probably has geological activity. It's much like Io. Moon of Jupiter, which has similar um, similar conditions. So now we're going to use our detailed surface scanner to scan the surface of the planet. And instead of spending all our time cruising around the surface of this world, we should know in a moment where every geological location on this planet is. There we go. 18 on this one as well. So, there is every location you can see them. Geologic signal, geologic signal. Each one of those is um, the location of a geyser. So we don't have to go cruising around the planet. Um, for me, one of the things I like to do is just flip back to combat mode because it gets rid of that blue sphere. And like I said, um, if you don't have photography, it's a great opportunity for you to kind of cruise around the planet and see, you know, do I really want to go down in this crater here or this um, canyon? Um, or that's that one actually sitting in a crater. So, eh, that's okay. Kind of boring. Um, what other options do we have here when it comes to landing? Let's do this one. Over here, kind of in the dark. No. That's way in the dark. Oh, we'll find one here real quick. There's a nice view. Oh, see? So the planet here is extremely close. Here we go. Let's do this. This one should give us some nice views. We want to be careful, obviously. <laughs> I don't want to drop out of Super Cruise or Super Cruise just yet. Alright. One of the things that was thrown out the window um, with this particular update is kind of the geologic locations. So 
prior to the prior to beyond chapter four, you had um, to really look and consider the realistic um, implications of where geology may be located. So you're very rarely going to find geology on the side of a crater because when the um, when a rock or object impacts the planetary surface, it hardens the crust around the impact zone. So the chances of there being, uh, you know, volcanic activity bursting out of the planet's surface is, uh, is not very good. But when it comes to this particular update, eh, these things just seem to be randomly placed for the most part. Um, but you can see, and uh, they still show up. See, there's the little circle, the little dot that I would spend many, many hours looking for. And it looks like we have found lava vents on this little world here. Lava vents always make for good photography and good geology research locations. But from start to finish, in about five to ten minutes, um, you can find any number of geology locations with this particular method. And this is just the standard beyond chapter four. This is the final edition of Horizons. Um, is how it's done. And um, it had its pluses and minuses. There was, uh, I and I at first was a little hesitant because it kind of took a little bit of the exploration element out of it. Um, but in the end, oh, the blackout is still present in Horizons. That's fun. But in the end, uh, it made it a lot easier to find these locations, and so. Uh, you could find more locations. It also opened up a whole host of worlds where you were limited to the six to seven hundred kilometers. I mean, you weren't limited, but you weren't going to find much on some of these larger worlds. Uh, it opened up those larger worlds, so you started seeing things like uh, photographs with rings in them and, and the like. So, um, yeah, just a real quick kind of uh, prep school, middle school, halfway point here to show how things have really changed. And um, this is probably my last Horizons video. So uh, it's been a pleasure making videos with this particular version of Elite. And uh, looking forward to moving to Odyssey exclusively after this. Um, the next video, I'm going to show you how it's done modern in the modern way. Um, but thank you for watching. And if you enjoy this content, please uh, give a like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Um, leave a comment below. Tell me about your uh, exploration uh, experiences. Do you like the full spectrum scanner do you would you prefer seeing the map when you jump into a star system um, there's a lot of changes that have been made throughout the years that have uh, you know uh, either been silently accepted or um, vocally opposed but the map really just wasn't one of them uh, the detailed surface scanner pinpointing locations of geology it got a little bit of pushback at first but I think once we realized that hey you know, that's kind of cool we don't have to put as much effort into it for the reward. Um, it really took a lot of the grind away from exploration. So if you really like this stuff, um, leave a message and i be happy to hear from you, okay? Take care. Fly safe out there, Commanders 07.